Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I am the program manager for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. In this video, we'll be talking about correlation and causation. In statistics and data analysis, understanding the concepts of correlation and causation is essential. Let's begin with the definition of correlation. Correlation is a statistical measure that quantifies the degree of which two variables are related to each other. The most common measure of correlation is the Pearson correlation coefficient, denoted as R, which ranges from negative one to one. There are three types of correlation, positive correlation, in which both variables increase or decrease together. The correlation coefficient will be positive, typically ranging from zero to one. There's also negative correlation, in which one variable will increase as the other decreases, and vice versa. The correlation coefficient will be negative, typically ranging from negative one to zero. There's also no correlation, or zero correlation. This is when there is no discernible relationship between the variables. The correlation coefficient will be approximately zero. Let's look at an example. Consider a data set that contains the number of hours spent studying for an exam and the exam scores of a group of students. To assess the correlation between study time and exam scores, you could calculate the correlation coefficient by using the following formula. Once you solve for R, you can interpret the correlation. If R is positive, it indicates a positive correlation, suggesting that as study time increases, exam scores tend to increase as well. If R is negative, it indicates a negative correlation, suggesting that as study time increases, exam scores tend to decrease. If R is close to zero, for example, 0 0.1 or zero, it indicates little to no correlation, suggesting that study time and exam scores are not strongly related at all. Now let's discuss causation. Causation implies a cause and effect relationship between two variables where one variable directly influences or causes changes in the other. However, establishing causation is more complex than identifying correlation. To establish causation between study time and exam scores, you would need to conduct a controlled experiment where you manipulate study time while keeping all other variables constant. Only then can you attribute changes in exam scores directly to variations in study time. Remember, correlation does not imply causation. Just because two variables are correlated does not mean that one causes the other. There may be hidden factors or coincidences at play. Think about the following. Ice cream sales and shark sightings tend to increase with each other. Does this mean that you will definitely see a shark because you bought an ice cream cone? No, these variables are simply correlated. This is because there is an underlying variable, in this instance, warmer weather, that influences both ice cream sales and shark sightings. Thank you all so much for watching. Please follow along with the rest of the NSDC flashcard video series to learn more.